it's not, it's not a bad color. Hi, welcome back to part two. Now, we've fin actually finished Harley now. We've done some finer detail and added a little bit of colour. Um, now, what you'll see probably different from the actual picture that we've used is the picture is actually Harley, but all this round here is not colour. It's actually, I suppose it's showing up as he's a bit of a grubby dog, really. Um, when, he has a, when he has a wash, he comes up white. So when actually painting a mural for someone of their pet or whatever it would be you really need to make sure you get good pictures of the actual animal because sometimes the pictures lie when it comes to colour and if you were to end up giving the client back a picture of their dog with a bit of colour they'd say well my dog isn't like that so that is something you really need to make sure so now obviously we're finished and what we're going to do now is we'll actually make a frame Rather than buy one, we will actually show you maybe in part three, we'll actually make a frame up and then we'll mount the dog in the frame and then you can see it completely finished. Right, so now what we have, we have some, some more stock now we've gone and purchased for obviously so the next lot of work we have in line. Um, different colours, varying on the different type of subject that we're doing, obviously if it's a dark uh, so it's a dog which is quite a dark brown and also we'd use a lighter colour and vice versa. What we're doing is we're taking on some more commissions so if anyone's interested obviously get in touch with us um, and we go from there. <laughs> 